Hello guys, we welcome you to our year in review for 2020. This year has been filled with a lot of ups and downs, but we want to review what has happened all through the year and we want to share with you our viewers on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Twitter and all our um, social media platforms. We we'll welcome you to listen. Please sit back, and relax, and enjoy what we have in store for you today. Here, uh, my name is Caroline Fejobi, and here with me is Chuku Emeka Okocho. And um, we would like to just share with you a few of the things that we have been able to accomplish as a church, Gilga Christian Center. This year has been a year to remember for so many people. A lot has happened all through the year. What do you think? The year is almost over. I think it's a year where our hearts have been drawn to gratitude and it's been really, really revelational, you know, because the things we took for granted now is just staring us in the face. And we have also learned about the vanity of life. So we need to live every day with a heart of gratitude, knowing that tomorrow is not guaranteed, that we got a privilege, and that privilege is by the mercy of God. Something we may have previously taken for granted. How do I know that? It says in the book of Ecclesiastes that a living dog is better than a dead lion. Thank you. So true. This year has been filled with so many challenges, but just like my brother said, Brother Maker said, if you're still alive, it's enough to be grateful to God for. Because there are so many people that are no more, not of their own doing. But we are glad that we are able to um, rejoice with our members and their families, even as the year is about to end. We are thanking God for all that he has done in our lives as a church, as a family. So, we want to begin with the beginning of the year. Do you remember what we did at the beginning of the year? Well, um, as a culture, or if you like, a custom, uh, we end the year and we enter the year in a certain mind state, or state of mind, and preparation. Usually it's our 40 days praying and fasting, and then that's how we are able to launch into the new year with expectation, because the Bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. And it also reminds us in Luke 18, verse 1, it's Jesus giving a parable, he says, to an end that men ought always to pray and not faint. So that's how we, need, we usually start off with a mindset of victory. Amen. We want to thank God for that because during the 40 days fasting and prayers that we had, the visionary over the house, our very own pastor, Pastor Jerry Udo, revealed to us that he had seen a dark smoke coming from the east to the west. And it did not come as a surprise when a few weeks after that, the biggest pandemic that has ever landed in any part of the world, in any, in, in any, any place, landed all over the world. Everywhere was shut down. How did you feel when, when you were, nobody was allowed to go out? We were not allowed to do anything. We were all stuck indoors. How did you feel? Did you? Because I felt claustrophobic because I'm not used to staying at home all the time. I don't know about you. Did you feel the same way? How, did, how exactly did you feel? The world may not have understood uh, what the pandemic was all about. It was totally not just about the virus, but it was a, a test of faith. It was, it was a proof of the giving of the totality of your heart. It was a check on spiritual idolatry. If you will sit back and be more comfortable, oh, I can't go to church, I can't do this and that, and then sleep back and forget the injunction from Scripture, do not forsake the assembly 
of the brethren, according to Hebrews 10 and 25. So it, it, was, it was really like um, a text of what most of us have been preparing ourselves, have been doing. You know, then, you know, when they do a drill, they don't tell you when they do the drill. It just comes upon you suddenly. It, it was a check to see the state of our heart, to see our belief system and the height of it, which is our conviction. If we are people that can easily be stopped, or we are those go-getters. If we are people who have, who have love for God, or we are just any kind of lukewarm Christian. So that was the morale of this incident. And I'm sure by now we have been able to know if we have spiritual maturity and find out where we falter during this period. I also want to say that during that period, initially I was like stuck in the house, but I, just like you said, I began to reevaluate my relationship with God. Am I in right standing with God? And I want to believe that every member of Gilgal too got to that point where they were able to reevaluate their lives and get more committed to the things of God. Because when we look down the line, we saw that we, we see that Gilgal, this period gave. Um, rise to the birth of the young adult ministry which i believe you're a part of so you want do you want to explain to us um how the young adult ministry started destiny help us and the um, predestination you know for any ministry to thrive we must understand scripture that the heart of god is to make available all graces so when you see new members join the ministry and then after a hot section of worship and praise on a Sunday, the pastor come up and feels in his spirit it's time to organize the, the young adults, what some people call youth, then you know that it wasn't ordinary. It was the right time. It was a season. And so he went ahead and then gathered the much of the young people he could and then i'm privileged to be the head of um that uh, young adult not the president per se who is uh, the personal brother um, edwin honor i'm the young adult uh, pastor yeah. so that's really um a new bet for the church because you know for a long time we had a few um, if you like call it department but now there's been an increase, and that's the youngin, you know, we expect for a ministry that is growing. The ministry will have arms, helps, you know, that supports the head and make the work easy. Why do I say that? In Acts chapter 6 verse 2, we find out that there was a complaint by the Hellenistic Jews against the Greek Jews. And then what was the complaint all about? It was about the distribution of food, not just food. And then the apostle, the chief apostle, found out that it was difficult for them to do what they normally do. And out of discernment and wisdom, they said, no, you guys got to look out among yourself and find men of such, such, such credential." Set them over this thing, this problem we're having. Let them take care of it so that we will continue in the ministry of the world and in prayer. And we knew after that that was, there was great success. The ministry blossomed and there was peace. So that's where we are right now. Amen. We must bless God for that. Amen. We thank God for that. Gilga Youth um, Young Adult Ministry has over 15 members at each of their meetings. They've really grown to the extent that they have reactivated even the Young Teens Ministry. The Gilgal Teen Ministry now meets every Sunday for their Sunday school. And when we look at all that God has done for us at Gilgal, we cannot but be grateful to God. We cannot but be grateful to Him for all that He has pulled us through. Because it did not start all of a sudden. We, it started with prayers and fasting. And God has seen us through it all. Even at the peak of this pandemic, the Young Adult Ministry and the media department partnered together 
to start the Gilgal TV. I believe that you you've been a very far um, you've been in the forefront of the Gilgal TV. Can you tell us about your program and one of the main programs that Gilgal TV is on Facebook? Well, I would say Gilga um, Christian Channel or Gilga Television is um, something that it's um, not um, far from what we've been doing. It was just uh, another dimension um, God was taking us to. Because one of the first things God does is God plants hunger or desire in order to increase or expand you. So initially before the birth of that um, television uh, we see that some people including myself you know we were rallying around to come up with something and then for one or two reasons there was delay and we didn't understand why there was the delay i believe it was because god was searching on the right people to gather all those kind of people together to make uh, the, the television a success so when it was was the right time, um, it, it wasn't so difficult to put it together. Everything just came together. The ideas, you know, was, were quite harnessed, and that was how it, you know it became something to talk about. And I'm sure every member of Gilgal is happy to watch the monthly um, show, the television show. So it's really been a blessing. What came out of a genuine um, desire to reach out to more people is not something that anybody can launch out on any social media platform and, and gain something that could help their life, you know, for to it. So it, it's been amazing. And then, you know, we have had up to the fourth episode, which is really something that is mind-boggling and we look forward to more success with that program amen and we, we understand that the breaking bread program which is um the gilga uh, which is a talk show that is hosted <coughs> on gilga tv platform has reached over a hundred thousand viewers and i believe that people have been testifying we've had comments we've had shares people have been testifying to how god has blessed them from the messages also, the media department has been in the forefront of other successes in the ministry. Can you please explain some of the um, ideas that have been born as a result of Gilgal TV or the youth's ministry? Because I know the, the youth have been at the forefront of most of the events that have been happening. Scripture in First John chapter number 2. You know, I write to you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and ye have overcome the evil one. So you can see the the the, the resilience and the strength of the youth uh, being maximized, and then the proof of that is the advent of the prayer, the Gilga prayer chain. Or if you like, you call it the, the Gilga prayer train, and the birth of the Gilga light challenge, which um, has taken another toll on its own. So it, it, it draws to mind that it's been all incorporating, and then we find out that leadership skills have been born in people, because it's it's not just about um, the leadership spirit there's also the spirit of leadership so we see that this period has been a very big opportunity to enhance the spirit of leadership amen thank you amen also in this difficult year the gilga music ministry has launched its first praise and prayer night wasn't it awesome I felt the presence of God all over me, the first one. Yeah, it's it's been um, the talk among church members. I must say um, it's something I look forward to. It's really been amazing. Uh, I can't remember um, how it all started. You know, it was just after uh, a service on a Sunday. 
and the music was going on and I just had this inspiration and then I just turned and spoke to the um, the first lady of, of the church and I, I said to her, I think it's time we started something like this, a, a, a praise festival or something. Yeah. And then before you knew it, because she's a woman of discernment, she moved quickly and swiftly to her husband and discussed with him immediately. And before we could say, Jack, we had something arranged, and that's how this Gilga praise night came into existence. I hope we, we hope you have enjoyed a brief recap of our year in view, because a lot has happened in this year. Even in the midst of a global shutdown, God has remained faithful to us in the Gilgal family. We have not suffered the loss of any of our members. We have not suffered the loss of lives to, to the virus. None has fallen sick. What can we not praise or thank God for even in our lives? Some of the highlights that we've had all year long are we had the night of friendship. People came, members came with their families to bask in the presence of what they, they ate, they relaxed and enjoyed being in the house of God. Where else would you have spent the 14th of February, if not in the house of God? We also had the pastor's birthday celebration. Yes, wasn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. We ate and ate and we were filled to satisfaction in that It was a day we set aside to appreciate our first lady, our pastor, a very, the visionary of the house, and our first lady. It was a day that we appreciated them for all their service, even in the house of God. We also had the children Christmas program. I didn't even know we had such kids in Gilga. We had so many talented kids in this church, and we never even knew that. Didn't you see that? Did you see the girl that prayed? Oh, Lord, that was something else. I, I would say I wasn't surprised because, you know, the Bible declares clearly in Proverbs 22 and verse 6, it says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from him. So you discover that the memory of the righteous is blessed, according to Proverbs 10. So it, it's, it's something that the children have now made home. That was, so it's really amazing. That was amazing. From when she was praying, I felt the very presence of God upon me, upon her. I saw, I saw the light of God upon her life. We have so many talents in this house, and we, this was a year for us to discover those talents, in, not just in the young adult ministry, in the children's ministry as well. And we also had a young adult Sunday. Um, it was um, the first of its kind. We look forward to another one in 2021, God, God, uh, God willing. We believe the year 2020 has been filled with challenges but great and greatness, but we believe that the year 2021, God has a lot more in store for you. We want to welcome you into the house of God whenever you can. Come and fellowship with us on Sunday between 9 and 11.30, and we believe that you, your lives will never remain the same. Would you, do you have a last word for our viewers? Yeah, we're on our way. We are bulldozing into 2021. You can see that we are already on a mission. We are moving to our new sanctuary. So we are on our way and by the spirit of the prophetic, we are going to be big. So look out for us. We keep faith as we told this line. Thank Amen. you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, on behalf of the media department, the Young Adults Ministry, the Children's Department, the Women's Ministry, the Men's Ministry, we want to say a big thank you for everyone that has made this year. And most importantly, on behalf of the pastor, we want to thank everyone that has made this year a successful one for everyone. We thank you for all your work and contribution, your hard work, to building the house of God. 
We believe this year has been a year of winning on all sides, but we believe the year 21, 2021 is going to be a spectacular year, a year filled with many more victories for each and every one of us. Just like the brother Emeka said, look out for us in the year 2021. Yeah, so um, we want to thank you all for listening. It's been an amazing time anchoring with you guys and sharing the smiles. We know it's, the days are tough, but we are going to come through. We want you all to keep faith. Thank you and God bless. We'll see you on the other Peace. side.